Hey everyone, Kevin here. I'm in my extremely messy room and what I'd like to do in this video is talk about lighting. Now, what I'm currently using to light the whole room are ugh, these. These are called softboxes and they're relatively cheap to buy. They, I've got two of them. This one, um, this particular model is about £40 to buy in the UK. Comes a large stand. You can direct the light wherever you want to go, you know. Obviously, you can get it too light. Sometimes I bounce the light off the walls. And I've had these for about a year and a half or so. They are a little bit prone to, well, the, the kind of, they're not the best quality, you know, the, the kind of, one of the bulbs uh, is kind of falling out sometimes. It's kind of made of cheap plastic, but I must admit, I've had my money's worth out of these. I've been using them for a year and a half and they are quite efficient. And if you're looking to light up your room, most of you probably is, is for recording videos for YouTube, but maybe you're using it for something else. Um, these are an option, but there are alternatives. Um, one of the things I don't like about these is, well, just the sheer size of it. I mean, look at the size of these things. You know, when my, my rooms get a little bit more crowded, I have been conscious of the fact that these things take up a lot of room. Now, I will continue to use these, but recently I've stopped using them because I've been using daylight bulbs. So the daylight bulbs that I bought are about £10 each and these run at 85 watts each for each bulb and the bulbs are huge. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll turn this one off. We'll go over here. So if you look inside here, you'll see what's going on. Get it one-handed. So you can see the bulb is very, very large. Now I've had this a year and a half and I have been using it most days and it's still going, so I'm very happy with, you know, the how long it's lasted. And the reason it's called the soft boxes is because, well, the light has been dimmed a little bit with this. The light is softer. But, what I've been using instead, this go lights over here with the computers. Daylight bulbs. So I've got three daylight bulbs, they're a little bit smaller. They were £10 each. And each bulb runs at 25 watts instead of the 85 watts of these larger ones. But they're actually brighter. Each lamp, uh, each bulb is actually brighter than those ones apparently, going by specifications. Um, so, you know, 75 watts total, these are 170 total. And, you know, it it, it does depend, oh, I'll set you down here for a second. So it does depend. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, so, it kind of does depend how you set it up. What I've found is that when I position the lights, like one there and one there, pointed direct me, directed to me, I've found that there's very little difference in the way the light looks when I record via my camera or via my, via my webcam. So I've just been using those lights. And it's, I find this quite consistent because, you know, these lights are always in the same position. They're spotlights, so I can move them around. But... You know, I live in Scotland, sometimes it's really sunny at 10 in the morning and then 30 minutes later the clouds go over and it, you know, you lose all your light. And just putting these on all the time, you know, it, it kind of solves that problem. So, yes, the, the soft boxes, which are here, the soft boxes are pretty good. Uh, I'm not telling anyone not to buy them, but I have found that since getting these daylight bulbs put in uh, in the spotlights, I have just been call it laziness but I'm getting the kind of 99% of the same effect just by using these and from a recording point of view maybe you guys haven't even noticed that I've been using these lights instead of these ones now these ones aren't daylight bulbs these are kind of like a warm white and it gives it a kind of warm a glow it, it, it does look slightly better but just from ease of use just from size just from practicality these things take up a lot of room these things are on the ceiling and obviously you can put daylight bulbs in anything. You can put it on a lamp. You can put it anywhere. Very, very flexible. I think from an efficiency point of view, there's a lot to be said about just using daylight bulbs. I think they're quite practical. I've actually got them in my kitchen now. Uh, and it takes a while to get used to because I used to have kind of softer lights there, uh, warmer light. But I'm, I'm used to these now and I, I think they're very efficient. So, yeah, if you guys are looking to, to light your room for videos, for, for YouTubing, for Twitch, for anything. 
You might not have considered daylight bulbs yet, but I think there's a very good argument for using them because just from a, you know, when I, when I use these softboxes, you know, I walk into the room, I need to set them up in position, I need to, you know, make sure that everything, everything is positioned well. But now when I walk into the room, I just bang, I'm good to go. And that laziness, you know, we get that kind of simplicity, sorry, appeals to my laziness. So yes, you can buy these, they are very uh, cheap to buy. Long term, I might look into buying LED lights, something that's portable but provides really good lighting. But I have found myself just using these more. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, if you've got any you know, advice on this. I'd love to know what you guys are using to, to light your rooms. But um, if you haven't considered uh, uh, daylight bulbs, I would look into them. Softboxes are still an option and they do give you know, a, a kind of warmer glow. Um, you can see the kind of lights a little bit nicer. But I'm lazy guys, I'm lazy. I like walking into the room, I like pressing one button and I like the fact that these things don't take up a lot of room, so that's why I'm using that. Thanks for watching guys, I'll speak to you all very soon.